Hey there, my name's David. On this episode of Unusual Foods, I'll be doing a taste test of something I've been waiting a long time to try, and that is the Orangeangelo watermelon. So I just pulled one out of my yard, actually both of them, I had two pretty good sized ones, but I wanted to show you. This one is my big one. Uh, we've had massive rains the last two days, and then you can see it just split. So I caught it just in time, I had to pull this out, and the other one, so this is the other one here. You can see I had to cut the end off because it was getting um, a little bit funky because it's split and then it's starting to go brown. But yeah, saved them just in time. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. It smells like a watermelon. So, okay, so in here I've got two pieces of watermelon nicely cut as a watermelon shape. So what's interesting about this watermelon is you can see the, I just popped a few of the seeds out, but you can see the shape of the, the inside part here is kind of like a swirly shape and uh, this swirly shape originates from the like wild watermelon. So the, the watermelon came back, uh, originated from like a desert melon in Africa. You can check out um, Wild vs. Domesticated Foods part two if you want to learn more about the whole domestication of the watermelon. But yeah, all these swirly ones are wild ones. So this is basically comes from a wild, you know, it's probably further down the line in de domestication, closer to the wild. Uh, watermelon. So yeah, I'm excited. I haven't licked my fingers yet. Yeah, let's try this. So it smells like just a really good watermelon. It's not like any sort of crazy, weird tangerine taste or, or smell to it, but... Mm. Oh, juicy, juicy, juicy. Let's just make a mess here. Mmm. The flesh of this tastes like a watermelon, but it's spongy. It's like a watermelon flesh kind of is um, almost like a like a, a light fibrous kind of um, texture that kind of pulls apart in your mouth. Where this tastes more like you're eating like a like a it has a, you know a little bit of that. It is still a watermelon, but it tastes more like a like a spongy jello. Um, it's weird. The texture is really spongy. Um, the taste of this one, as expected, because it's a like more of a wild watermelon, is um, not as sweet. So um, the original watermelons were yellow or orange like this, and as they cultivated the um, the gene that matches with the the sweetness is also the same gene that matches with the um, the red or pink color. So as they got it, they domesticated them to be sweeter and sweeter, it became more and more red or pink. So for that reason, this should be more mild and it is. It is a more mild taste. There's a really nice, fresh, um, clean sweetness to it though. And it has just that really wonderful, spongy, uh, jello-y kind of texture. It feels like I'm eating like there's parts, especially right in the very middle where it's really dark orange. It's really, um, I'll show you here. These parts here where it's really dark orange in the middle, it it's really spongy and like jello-y. Just a really interesting, fun texture to it. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, happy with this one. This is a really un unique one to have. And um, yeah, I only got two of them for the whole year. So yeah, I'll, I'll try out the other one. And you know, if it's drastically different, then I'll uh, update this video. But I mean, they should be about the same because this one's only slightly smaller than the other one. So hopefully you learned a little bit about this, this one here, the uh, Orange Angelo uh, watermelon and uh, subscribe all that. And until next one, have a great day.